Hey everyone. So in the previous video, we were talking about the expected trend for the ionization energies of the period three elements. We were considering the atomic numbers, but actually there are two changes. The ionization energy of aluminum is a little lower than expected. And then the trend again changes at sulfur because sulfur also has a lower ionization energy than expected. So this is the real trend with aluminum and sulfur having lesser ionization energies than expected. Why does aluminum behave this way? So let's talk about the aluminum atom. Aluminum with 13 protons has a configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and then 3p1. Notice that the outer electron is in the p orbital, unlike magnesium which had electron in s orbital. The outermost electron of aluminium is in p orbital, not the s orbital. And remember that p orbitals come after the s orbital. So that is the p orbital is further away from the s orbital which means the p orbital is more distant from the nucleus more distant means less nuclear pull so more distant gives us lesser nuclear pull applied on the electron present in the p orbital and less ionization energy which means it's easier to remove the electron from the aluminium's p orbital. More distance, less nuclear pull, and that is why lesser ionization energy. Now let's compare why sulfur does this. Because sulfur has electrons in the p orbital like phosphorus, so what's the matter here? Again, the configuration will tell us how it happens. The configuration of sulfur is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and then among the three p orbitals, px has a pair, while py and pz have unpaired electrons. If you notice, there is a pair in one of the p orbitals, while there are unpaired electrons in the other two. This electron pair causes a repulsion. If you have watched my previous video where I talked about the Hund's rule, this is not a stable situation. So sulfur has an electron pair in one of the p orbitals. The electron pair in one of these p orbital causes an electron pair repulsion. And obviously sulfur would want to lose this electron. But why does it happen? We will talk about the idea of stable configurations too. So what happens is that due to this repulsion, the sulfur atom tends to lose this electron. If you notice phosphorus, phosphorus atom has three unpaired electrons in three different p orbitals, which is a very stable situation because half-filled p orbitals are very stable. Let's write the configuration of phosphorus to compare and understand this more deeply. Initial configuration is same, but then in the three p orbitals, phosphorus has one electron in each, which means unpaired electrons. This is a very stable situation. So sulfur prefers to lose the electron and obtain three unpaired electrons in the p orbitals exactly like the phosphorus atom. That is why even sulfur has a lower ionization energy than expected. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna be talking about the ionization energy and the group number. Because even the group number has an impact. Imagine oxygen atom with eight protons and overall eight electrons, six of which are in the outer shell. 
The configuration for the oxygen atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2px2, 2py1, 2pz1. Now I'm going to give you the values of the ionization energy. Like first ionization is 1313.9, second is 3388, third is 5300, fourth is 7469, fifth is 10,000, almost 900, seventh is 7330, and then eighth is 84,078. If I make a graph, and I take these ionization energy values on the y-axis and the number of electrons they represent on the x-axis, the graph would look something like this. I have taken first, second, third values on the x-axis and on the y-axis, I am making the energy values. Each unit is almost 10,000 units. So 10,000 joules is on every unit of the y-axis. Now we plot the graph. The first ionization energy value, which means removing the first outermost electron, and then second, then third, then fourth, it goes like this until the sixth one. The seventh one is really offbeat. It is not following the trend, unlike the first six ones. Why it happens? Why are the seventh and the eighth ionization energies really not following the trend of the first six ones. There's a big gap from the sixth to the seventh one. And you can see the seventh ionization energy comes after a really big gap because the first six electrons are all in the outer shell. The first six electrons were all having the same distance from the nucleus, so they were having the similar kind of nuclear pull. While the seventh electron was not from the second shell, it was from the inner shell. It was from the first shell, which means that seventh electron has more nuclear pull applied on it. That is why the seventh electron was very closer. It was actually from the inner shell. The first six electrons could be removed easily, but the seventh electron comes from the inner shell. The jump in ionization energy values indicates the group number. You have a jump after the sixth value. It means that first six electrons were from the outer shell while the seventh was from inner shell. So group six. Let's try some practice questions. The first six ionization energies of four elements A to D are given. Which element is most likely to be in group 4 of the periodic table? Now group 4 means that the 4 electrons are present in the outer shell while 5th electron is released from inner shell. So there should be a bigger jump in the ionization energies after the 4th ionization energy. Because 4 electrons are all in the outer shell, the 5th one is closer to the nucleus. Option A has all similar ionization energies. Second is 4000, then 6000, 9000, 13 and 16. Option B has 1000, then 7000, 10,000, 13,000, 18,000, again similar. Option C has 1000, 2000, 4000, 6000, but the fifth ionization energy is 37,000. There is a really big jump after the fourth value which means the fifth electron is coming from the inner shell. So option C for cat is the right answer. Let's do question four. It talks something about gallium nitride could revolutionize the design of, that's useless. Let's read the question. Gallium nitride is an ionic compound containing the GA3 plus ion. What is the electron, electronic arrangement of the nitrogen ion? If gallium has plus three and there is one nitrogen, it should be minus three. So let's talk about the nitrogen ion, which is minus three in charge and has seven protons. The total number of electrons it has is 10. So one is two, two is two and two P six. It has overall 10 electrons. So the right answer is D for doctor. Let's do question nine. The first seven ionization energies of an element between lithium and neon, which means period two, lithium and 
till neon are in period 2. In the periodic table are as follows. Something 1300, then 3000, 5000, 7000, 11000, 13000, and whoa, 71000. There's a really big jump from 13300 to 71000. It means the first six electrons are having lower ionization energies than the seventh one, which means seventh ionization energy is for an inner electron. And that is why the answer for this one should be group number six, 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Now the seventh electron is inner shell, but the valence configuration is 2s2, 2p4. So this element belongs to group six. Option C for cat is the right answer. In the next video, we'll talk more about this chapter and a new chapter is being started. Stay tuned guys. Thanks.